just about grabbed one of the jig poles on my way over. What are you doing, Cole? We're going to Marinette. For a Get scouting some mission. Walleyes to see if they're going to be there yet. Octavius. Mm. Same thing. Your input on this? No, no. Then you got bought. Good old driver. You got me. Put the sandals on. It's nice out today. Yeah, it's 36 right now. 840. Going east. Good old Wisconsin. Had to make a quick pit stop. Tavius and Cole had to uh, relieve themselves, so stopped at Menards and Anigo. Made it a half an hour into our two hour trip and they had to go already. They're just coming out of the store now. Are they? Yeah, Cole is. Oh, Cole is. Walk underneath this. It's shallow. Yeah, I know. You can walk on top of this. I walked out to like right there. What do you got to say, Ashton? You guys figure out about the licenses? No. Not yet. I was looking at that. So we made it. This is the Menominee River. That right there is Marinette, Wisconsin. We are currently on the Menominee, Michigan side of the river where we plan to fish, but didn't realize that, well, we did realize, but Ashton and I got to get new fishing licenses for the day. Cole and Tavis are under the six, or under the 17 age cap, so they're good. Got to do a little research to find out what that's going to cost us or if we got to find a spot on the Wisconsin side to fish. How sturdy are we? I have about three inches right here. That's good enough. Huh? Yeah. I'm going to play it safe and stay on the rocks, though. What? 10? <coughs> huh? Yeah. I got up to the counter and she's like, or I was like, can I get a fishing license? She's like, you want 24 hours or a year? I was like, if I pay for 12 hours, is it five bucks? And she's like, no, it's only 24 hours or a year. I was like, oh, sorry. Yeah. And the one lady started laughing, and then the other one started chuckling a little bit. But it's nice because Michigan didn't go cheap and go to paper yet. They still print out like cards. Yeah. I have a Michigan Go wild card too. Yeah. I mean, it's their version of it. It's not even. It's not like a credit card type thing. It's uh, like our green slips used to be. It's only it's blue and it says. Michigan non-resident sports card.
Yeah, that guy I was just talking to up there, he's like, he's, or he said he's lived around here his entire life and he said he can't remember ever missing a walleye run. Yeah. He said he's caught 30 plus. He's, because that's what he mentioned when he said that all of that's waist deep. He's like, I've caught 30 plus walleyes out of there, like inches out of there when, during the run. You gotta be kidding me. Just got my husky jerk snagged. Got her out. No, I didn't. Shit. That pisses me off. There we go. So all the locals we've talked to so far have said that we've got like two weeks left until the run. Yep. So that's what that guy up at the parking lot said too. He said they were coming down here just for trout fishing today. Cause Cole, huh? Yeah, Cole mentioned that we came up to check it out for the walleye run. He's like, oh, you guys are like two weeks too early. And we're like, yeah, that's what we figured. Or we knew that, we just came up here to try and scout out some areas. He's like, well, where have you all scouted? And we're like, well, we've been kind of up and around. He was, like, we started at this bay that, or this dam this morning and we went out to the bay to try to see if we could get a line or two in but that was all froze yet and he's like, yeah, it ain't gonna be open too much farther downstream than where we are now. Yeah, but how far is that? Didn't you say you looked it up? Oh, far as it is to get to the mountains. Oh, really? Just got snagged again. God. Out here at good old Lake Michigan, Harbor. catching nothing. Fishing Anomaly for Harbor. nothing. Fishing for nothing. Yeah, pretty much fishing for nothing. Too much we brought, to fish summer. We had our ice fishing stuff. We could have been out there slamming fish. Didn't think that far ahead. But now, beautiful day out. Noah's trip has become a scouting mission for next week when we, or not next week, but couple weeks when we come up for the walleye run. That was the whole plan of coming up here today. Now it's just sightseeing. Sightseeing. The Nick Benson Anchor something. Exactly one Ashton's reading all the signs on the pillars. Drive 86, 86, 86. We're only the six, I'm guessing. Don't spin on me, Cole. <clears throat> Man, I'm getting dizzy looking at this. Rhea and Anne Cohen and family. That's a little tough question. Good God, I thought we were closer. Nope. <laughs> I don't even want to make a one. <laughs> On our way. Tavis driving today since he didn't pay me last time. Now he's driving, so I don't have to pay him for gas. Cole and Ashton are palling it up in the back, getting Jesus, all cozy. <laughs> Roads aren't necessarily the best today, but I figured once we get on the state highway, to get out there, we'll be fine. But today might be the day, right, Ashton? Yeah. If not, we're coming back on like Wednesday. Take a pit stop at Walmart, stock up on the essentials of burgers. What'd you say? We lost. Yeah, I don't know where the hell he went. 
An artist waiting for Colton to come out of the store yet. Huh? I had to wait for my one of your exes I like to Teddy has to say. Are there bags in here? No. No. We can throw some of them in the back of it though. Yeah. It'll fit up here. Do you just feel the shift of the heart car? The heart yep. car? Yes, I did, Tavis. Uh, 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 uh. Here, put the groceries in here. Colton, what do you got to say? Uh, I have to piss. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to probably be over there. On the island. Uh, yeah, right where those guys are walking out now. Original plan. Ashton, want to let them in on our details? Uh, we're going to try to catch some fish up here. I mean, there's enough people fishing here, but it ain't as big as last year. But Go across the train tracks. Yeah. Oh, those guys are over there, too. Try and get down in that region somewhere. Wait out a little bit. They pool out there at night. Do they? Oh, you can catch them at your feet when they're actually full on run. You guys got the same waders as I when do. When the water's really high, that's where they are. It's right up our shore. Those guys are right where we want to be. Mm -hmm. You guys cross there? But they're going up higher. Well, let's get a move on. Huh? Yep, let's get a move on. Well, at least there's little things for if a train does come, we can hide in there. we has got our first fish, we think. <laughs> Never mind. Just a stick. Stick bass. Oh boy, oh boy, he says. I think I might actually have one. Oh. So we're just starting to get fish in here. Uh, Cole for sure said he had a fish, but lost him as he was getting into the shore here. Uh, Colton thought he had a couple bites, and that's about it for our stories. It's, I think it's like four o'clock, 4.30 right now. Plan on fishing well into dark, like probably 11, 12, maybe even one o'clock in the morning. And then spending the night up here somewhere, maybe park in a parking lot and sleep. And then we're probably going to stop down in Pestigo somewhere and try to fish tomorrow morning on our way back home. Trying to get my thing situated here. I think that's somewhat straight. If not, oh well. Cole's hooked up. Not sure how big it is. <coughs> Decent size. You just say it's a stick. How far out do you think he is? Oh. I hope so. Oh, there was a swirl. I just saw it swirl a little bit ago. Ooh. It was a sucker. It was a sucker. Yeah, it was a sucker. Ooh. 
just busted. Keep it right here. Spit the bait out right at the net. Big sucker? How big? Really? So it's like 20 inches? Two feet? Oh, you yeah. snagged them? Yeah, you just snagged them. Oh, that, yeah, that okay. probably was a sucker. Yeah. Drilling rush. White strip with a pink belly, a big egg scale. All that excitement for nothing. Got ourselves a goose here. Colton got within like five yards from a little bit ago and he hissed and started running at him. There's a whole bunch of wildlife here on our island. We got squirrels and a whole bunch of different birds. There's geese and ducks standing up here. I was talking to the goose. I was talking to the goose. He was looking at me. Yeah, learn their language. Here's I got a I got two. Colton and Tavius coming with our grill and burgers. <laughs> it drops it off the bridge. It's about 6.30 right now, I'd imagine. Cole told him to run up and get the grill. And sure enough, idiots went and did it. Ashton, what are your thoughts so far? I think right now we have a better chance of catching a goose than a fish. Except that goose gets pretty pissed off. So, I don't know if we want to test that. Here's our fish slayer of the afternoon so far. Ashton's hooked up. Might be our first landing of the day. It's a big line. Ooh. Yes. There we go. Hey, I got a tape measure right here. We'll just get him up on shore. We'll measure. Here. You got your scale up here too, Ashton? Go, go. Watch my Yep. Oh, yeah. Why aren't we keeping it? Here. I'll put it on a stringer and then they'll probably get a bigger one. Take I got a stringer on the ground over there. Okay. Cool, you got a scale? Tavis, in my drawstring bag behind you. Well, we gotta. I'm not tying this. It's right here. Unless it's not regulated. No, it is. It's definitely. It only has to be 15, I think. So that. How big? 20. 20. Yep, 22. 22? Yep. Let's get a weight real quick. Whew. That's exciting. Yep. Hurry up, she's bleeding. Wanna get him? Zero it out real quick. Alright. Ain't gonna be that heavy, but. Four and a half? Four. Four, four and yeah, five. Four and a half. Take a picture quick and then get the stringer. Alright. Uh, Tavius, I have a white stringer. Oh no, because you're too preoccupied. I am, actually. This is pissing me off. Here, Ashton. Take a picture quick, and then we're going to 
restoring the stringer then. Ready? Yeah. Alright. So, we made a little journey down the road to Peshtigo. We're, um, it's probably like 8.30, 8.45 right now. And we're walking down here and there's people one after another with their nets full of just giant walleyes. There was one guy probably had a 30 incher. It's probably eight, nine pounds just in his net when he was walking up. So feeling pretty good about this. And there are also plenty more guys walking out with mid 20s walleyes. So we're gonna try here for a while and see how it goes. Cole's hooked into one. Not to take the attention off the fish, but this is a pretty badass angle. That's a sucker again. Cole, you're pretty good at snagging suckers in the back. I can, oh, you got it. He popped off. Keeping them? Give us a rundown, Ashton. It was a good day. We had to leave early because Nancy boy up front. Otherwise, we probably would have had a couple of bigger ones. At the last spot, at the Peshigo Dam. That's mine. 17 and a half inch walleye. Baby. And then Cole's gonna bring up Ashton's from and Marinette last night. If you can find it. Come on, ice. Oh! I'm in something that's slimy. Wet. I can't get it. Up. Up. Oh! Yeah. I'm coming. While they're getting that, Ow. I'll also mention that Ashton uh, snagged one and patch to go and yeah there's Ashton's 22 incher weighed four and a half pounds from Marinette anyways Ow. Ashton snagged into one on the top of the head at patch go was probably how big do you think that one was Ashton 19 yeah oh there's plenty of big ones though people were walking up from the dam with giants and their nets oh, and people were catching them left and right and Cole snagged two suckers down there and was getting all pissy and then he then he put a hole in the back of his waders. We're back, Jack! <laughs> We're heading back this week. Uh, probably a 30 inch in the forecast. Oh, I, I, can, I can smell it. Yeah, I can smell fish. <laughs> hey, your mom in the van? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now we gotta delete it. No! Oh, wait, no, that was milk. Yeah, there you go. That's been. Here's to you, Brady! <laughs> Yeah, we'll be back. Catch some more. Hopefully. Probably Tuesday. Yeah, Maybe. Tuesday or Wednesday is what we're thinking. Monday night, Tuesday. Take vacation. It's like, yeah, let's take a week vacation. <laughs> Live in the van for a week. By the river. <laughs> the van, not by the river. I don't think I would have been able to stay another night in here. <laughs> that was miserable. It wasn't too bad. How about you, Tavius? Think it was that bad? Yeah, you if got I wasn't seats. so damn cold, I would have been a lot better. It wasn't that bad, though. See, these two are just wimps. Wimps. Don't know how to. Hold they have the most room different. in the entire freaking car. Yeah, 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 hold on to the dipper real quick, would ya? <laughs> Tavius is gonna blow oh, past god. the milk truck. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> go in between them. <laughs> you have to go between them. Oh god. Jesus! <laughs> I'm not blind. All right, that was fun. Right. <laughs> Jesus! Talk about I idiot they were drivers. Oh. Talk about idiot drivers. Maybe we won't be back. <laughs> yeah, this video don't get posted. Wait. Uh, oh. Oh. 
shit, you ain't making this in our car. <laughs> you don't need to pass 